is an international movement in digital archiving which aims to open up the archives to the general public so that artifacts are not just preserved for posterity but they're made accessible for viewing. Film archives and film festival archives tell us a lot about the cultural heritage of a place. They tell us about how we interact with cinema, how we celebrate cinema going. For well over a century, film has been a significant part of the cultural fabric of our society. And part of that history relates to the spaces where films are shown. Cinema going has its own rituals and traditions. And film festivals are vitally important spaces where audiences get access to films that they wouldn't normally see. They get to hear directors and actors talk about their work. And they get to congregate in public spaces to celebrate cinema. The Cork International Film Festival is the oldest film festival in Ireland. It's one of the oldest in the world. And it holds within its archives memories of how the city's relationship with cinema has evolved over the decades. In many ways, the festival archive tells us fascinating stories about the women who attended and participated in the festival over the years. There are some absolutely stunning images of stars particularly in the 1950s and 1960s and these images are full of fashion and exotic glamour and as well as seeing the stars depicted posing with directors or signing autographs we also see them interact with the city in really interesting ways so an example of this is the English actor Dawn Adams who was married to an Italian prince and she was determined to prove that she was down to earth despite her aristocratic connections. So she's shown during her festival visit pitching hay, riding a tractor, fishing in the River Lee. It's also interesting to see images of, for example, German star Winnie Marcus with a group of Cork dockers and also Bond girl Molly Peters, who's reclining on the bonnet of a car with the image of St Finbar's Cathedral in the background. So here we see stars who really interacted with the city when they, they attended the festival. In many of these images, of course, women are objects of spectacle. For example, they're depicted at fashion shows or they're depicted as part of the Miss Movie Girl contest. This was a contest designed to find a winner who would represent the festival in Ireland and abroad. But there are also lots of images of women participating in the festival in really active ways, in viewing, in attending events, in working as part of the festival team, and of course, in winning awards. So just like cinema that has problematic representations of women as objects of spectacle, the film festival replicates some of these patterns, but we also see really interesting patterns of women who are actively engaged in the festival and have been an important part of the festival's history since its inception. Some of the artwork archived from the festival is really stunning and it's fascinating to see the changes in posters and programme covers over the years. A personal favourite of mine would be the work of Patrick Morrison, a Cork-born artist who was based in LA. He designed a number of programme covers in the early 2000s and his work is really evocative and vivid. It's both painterly and cinematic, which is appropriate. And I think it's no wonder that a number of actors and directors have acquired some of Morrison's paintings for their own private connections. So within the artwork, I think we can see how the festival embodies broader links with artistic connections. So we can really trace how the film festival is about broader culture and all the cultural connections of, of Cork City.